but <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk about Chris Brown flexing as he's done many times before uh, with another mistaken moment of success because because the internet makes those right because the internet makes those and you just wake and, up and, and shit working and God loves them you know what I mean you know, y'all don't forgive but God does Chris Stamp Brown is winning out here in these streets <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright let's 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 go um, this headline right here bro Chris Brown drops the official music video for Under the Influence now Under the Influence I don't want to play this for too long. Y'all going to have to, like, you know, yeah, copyright. copyrights. Yeah. So y'all are just going to Google it. Matter of <laughs> fact, I'm not going to even play this thing. Let's say that. And Under the Influence came out when? Like three years ago. Like three years ago? Yeah. All right. Let's 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 see. Chris Brown. Under the Influence. Ooh. Put myself on the spot with the type speed, man. And typos. That's bad enough. 2019. So, mm. yeah. Three years ago. It's 2022. Yeah, right almost now. three years ago. Yeah. Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that right there is crazy. And you said it popped. On TikTok. On TikTok. TikTok again, bro. TikTok, TikTok. for another for another W. Hey. But like, I don't know the exact moment that made it pop off. Because it, it did it did feel like out of nowhere it was everywhere. So I honestly don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, it started catching a viral moment on TikTok. Chris caught word of him and was like, oh, I need to cap on this shit. Video. Yo, this is... No, it's so... <laughs> This is beautiful in like 50, 50 11 ways, man. Because like, I'm going to stop with this one, right? Because you just said this. The music video. You know how our advice basically these days when an artist like, like, oh, I want to create a music video. Don't create a music video until the song starts taking off. Yeah. Right? See if people like it first. See if they like it first, right? Because especially for a newer artist, videos are an investment. Yeah. Time, money, good money, especially if you want to do a good video. So... Just put it in the music, put it in the marketing. If the song moves, the video can be uh, released, and now you have attention to that video naturally because there's already interest in it. Otherwise, you have to market it in a video individually. It's a whole thing, right? So, great. That's that advice. Don't drop a music video until the song itself starts to show some level of popping, right? But I don't think some people realize even if it takes three years for that shit to pop. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I think people are thinking like, yo, well, what about overnight? Or whatever, what if it takes three weeks? Which one of these are going to be working in three months? But just like with Able Heart, you know, and it's funny, when it, when that song started popping that we were working with him, I didn't realize that it had been dropped a year uh, before. Yeah. Was like, oh, so the song did maybe 30,000 streams over a year. And then in the next 30 days, 2 million, yeah. 3 million streams, all right? Because of TikTok, by the way. Because of TikTok, by the way. Because of TikTok, by the way, bro. Y'all be sleeping on TikTok even though everybody has uh, is also aware. Uh, so, like, my thing, when we first started getting on TikTok, and it was 2019, ironically, when we started going hard on it, one of the things I saw early on was Harry Belafonte Jump on the line went viral. All right, you know that song? No, so like jump on that line. Okay, yeah, 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 that, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Which I didn't know that was Harry Belafonte at that time. Um, all but one thing I did know, I was like, Harry, oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, bro, this thing has the power to take this song got to be 50 plus years old or something. Because I know Harry Belafonte, bro. Like Sydney Portier, you know what I mean? Cicely Tyson, that's the same camp, like yeah. age wise. That's like my grandma's grandma almost, you know what I'm saying? So, like, to pop off a song from somebody that oh, that's old, like, anybody's catalog can get it these days, right? If somebody finds it and they put it in the right Video, right? Shit. Anybody's catalog can get these TikTok moments. So, so question then: Do you think the inverse could happen? Do you think an artist could drop a video for an old song and then that sparked the viral moment for it today? And I'll tell you what: What made what made me, makes you makes me ask this is I remember there was once while I was sitting in this clubhouse room with uh, J Cole's marketing team from Dreamville, and they was having this exact argument. Like okay. the the marketer. I wish I could remember this guy's name because I was on his side. But their marketer was like, "Bro, we got 100% could drop old video well, videos for old songs and just respark attention into it because, like, you know, if the fans still like it, 
like the old fans are gonna still support it because they love it, and then new people are gonna be like, oh, this shit hard. You know what I'm saying? Let yeah. me let me tap into it. I can see and that. then it was like, you know, J Cole's like, you know, more executive people on his team were fighting against it. Now we're not putting out a video for an old song. And the market's like, bro, it don't have to be crazy. We can just go take ten old songs, make find some little homie that's amazing at the videos, that's charging two, three k for videos. Then we get, you know, what I'm saying thirty thousand dollars for ten videos for some shit, and we respark it and make it pop off. And I was like, the whole time I'm listening to him, I'm like, bro, he's right. Like that shit, As a J. Cole fan, I'm like, bro, that shit will work, bro. That's some songs I wish he had made some videos for that would definitely have me going back to it. So that's why I asked. Different. But as I'm saying, do you think like... Yes. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> that is, bro, that's beautiful right there. Yeah. That's, and you said that was one of somebody who's on the marketing team. Yeah, it was like his... I, can't, I wish I could remember... The execs, man. Yeah. Listen to the young blood. I wish I could remember the guy's name, bro. Yeah, nah, nah, but, nah. yeah. That, that is a hard idea. 100%. Yeah. Because to me, that is the entire point of IP. Yeah. Like we have this IP to continue to use this image, you know, name, image, and likeness in different forms and facets over the years and bring new attention to it, right? I could drop a, a mini series of a TV show and put all my music in it. That brings clout back to it. So maybe yeah. I'm going to tell the entire story of um, not com- the warm up, right? Visually, in a way that it wasn't told before. Yeah. So it might not just be oh a music video one off, but it's more in a package fashion where you consume on a high level. Or it is just a one off music video, but at, like Buddy said, basically the the risk is so low at that point because the artist is already who they are. Fans are one hundred gonna percent uh, gonna watch it. So there's no L that you can really take outside of like you said, the cost and t- uh, to, uh, like capital wise, time wise to create the video. Yeah, it was AJ Cole, you can figure it out. Like, yeah, exactly, like, that Actually, can figure it out. Now I think about it, I think they did do that. I just remember J. Cole either earlier this year or last year did drop like three or four videos for old songs. So I'm assuming that marketer eventually got his point across. Uh, uh, see now, yeah, we gotta, we gotta I don't check. remember, it was either, let me I see. would love to know what those were. We might not have time to dig deep into that for the sake of keep moving, but we're gonna have to come back with that one. Nah, I'm already on this YouTube page, hold up. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, he uh, damn, where was it? Uh, no, okay, no, these are all new stuff. Man, I think it might have been last year. Oh yeah, Fire Squad, Lost Ones, and then oh, uh, he just redraw old videos. Never mind. I think I think the only one that might have been new video for an older song was Fire Squad. Okay. Yeah. See, I gotta. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like y'all let us know in the comments. Yeah, I feel like it was other, know. but he but he did it. I feel like that marketer will eventually won. Somebody you know will what I'm let us know. Yeah. And they. <laughs> They could probably, like I say, just continue to cap and go deeper into that if you if you push it in, in the right way. And yeah. Just do it light. Because I'll, I'm so confused when it comes to J. Cole music videos specifically because there were one or multiple people that were creating really legit J. Cole videos that weren't real videos yeah. for a long period of time. Yeah. I'll be watching them and I'm like, dang, this should be the video. There was a lot of J. Cole videos that were created like that. But that idea of dropping old stuff you're an, uh, an established artist and you drop some old shit well a, a music video for some old shit when you have a bigger fan base yes that's beautiful and it's like even if it's just the art artist like i didn't have the funds to artistically you had a story to it i didn't i couldn't artistically express it in the way i wanted to so you actually could have already had a video for it too by the way yeah it's like but i wanted to show y'all in the way i really wanted to to do it all right and this is what the vision this is me with money it's the vision for me with money. This is me with money, right? This is me with money. So now nah, there's, nah, that's that's a, a great idea. We can we can dig in like with that. There's there's so much that comes from your early work and value f- to that because, you know, like one the artist that we were working with, whose her first album never came out, and she was already a, 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 a super established artist. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is like, <laughs> bro, you're. If Jay Z turned out to have a first album that nobody heard, whoever insert anybody who has a name for themselves, yeah, right now, and they're popping, considered like top tier. If they came out with a first album, it's like, hey, this album didn't come out for whatever reason. The story alone will give it the views. Now, hey, maybe that music wasn't that good, and you came too far, so that might. But the idea of it. We know from a marketing value is going to get traction. Yeah, at least be a good right? moment. Maybe a good collectible. At least a good collectible. <laughs> yeah. NFT, ironic, because that's what you know, we're working yeah. on. But you know what I mean? But, you know, it is <laughs> It is what it is. 
is. It is what it is. So with that same um that same vein though, right? We kind of got off to Chris Brown and that and that thing blowing up. Want to give quick shout out to t- Kids Take Over because they also have a post that is perfect for this topic. Bam. Pull this thing up. Songs that took forever to blow up. These hit songs, yep, took forever to blow up. So just to add to it, right? Trap Queen says it took 18 months. Look at me, by X, two years. Murder on my mind. I didn't realize it was two years for that. No, yeah, yeah. Murder on my mind, two years. I didn't realize it was two years yeah, for that. Yeah. Lucid Dream, 17 months. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. Yeah, and then Roses, four years. Nah, I definitely. That was the one I didn't know. I was like, hmm. Oh, shh. Whatever. Hey, <laughs> hey, it is. What, I think, uh, I mean, we know LMA's boot up. Yeah. Because that was one of those things where I actually knew the song and I was confused because it came up and I was like, I, I, I thought I knew this song. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, it, it happens so often, especially these days. Like, yeah, bro, it's like as long as that song is out there, you all, it always got a shot. Always got a shot. Always got a shot. Like I say, man, great content never dies, right? Yeah. Especially if it's never had its moment yet. Yeah. So, hey, man, like, y'all got hope. Y'all got hope. And maybe y'all will be dropping music videos. That's an even better way. If you really feel stressed about not being a creative video, no. Hey, when you get big one day, you can yeah. drop that video in. Yeah, go back. Go back. Go back. Now, next, Taylor Swift going indie. So, I don't even have anything to read or story um, to really show on this. But we had known Taylor Swift going indie. Like, she was re-recording her albums and they were like, yo, we gotta rewrite the whole like Bible yeah. and music because yeah. we can't have new people doing this. Yeah, like she fucked the game she, up. She she really fucked she the, game, fucked the up. game up. I don't think y'all understand how much she really fucked it up. And I've seen other artists do it too around that same time, but she's obviously the biggest one and then you become the example and they're like, Yeah, yo, 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 we gotta stop this train. So um her re recording her stuff, did it did that write out before we get into the indie indie stuff, like, do you know of her re-recording her stuff completely, like, right out to other owners? Like, hey, this is completely different music. Because she was just literally re-recording the same song, for y'all who don't know, right? And when she, she re-recorded that same song, do I now have no ownership of the new version? Yeah, like, at the label, yeah. Like, she owns it. I mean, you know, you still got to get, like, credit for right, the right, artistic purposes. Yeah, yeah, but, like, yeah, like, no ownership of it. Because it's technically a new body of work. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. It's crazy, bro. That's such a that was such a big brain finesse at the time. Cause I I don't I don't know who came up with that idea. I know I would have never thought of it, but that shit was wild. That, bro, that shit was genius. And so she re re released a couple, and I guess after she got those out, right, and then she started giving her stuff more support. And now, her latest project, if you go to Spotify, you look at the name where you usually see the labels, the companies that are behind this thing. It just says Taylor Swift. T dot. Hey. <laughs> Taylor owns her own thing and not I don't think y'all understand how ridiculous this is but it's not just Taylor right so we talked about Bad Bunny Sam like put me on the Central C I didn't know Central C was independent yeah me either that was that was that one was random that one that one's yeah. pretty random especially the love of artist he is right now but I maybe just he's popping he popped fast before it happened yeah i don't know i gotta i still gotta look more into central c story yeah, i mean he was popping he was he was doing really well actually before he had his tiktok moment right i knew he was yeah. doing well for yeah. sure because yeah. i already knew who he was but i just don't I, I i mean i didn't really realize how well how much better he started doing though from that moment yeah. i thought it was a song that i fucked with I, he was one of those artists where i just didn't look at the numbers for a while yeah and i looked at his numbers i was like oh he he going stupid yeah, right bro. now yeah. yeah so if you take him bad bunny taylor swift and them being indie that's going to change the game like it's or it's, it's symbolically right you look here and then you look five years from now the game is going to look very very different yeah i think taylor swift is going to be more impactful though Oh, of course yeah because i think it's the the thing I think we see w- with the indie game is everybody's waiting on or was waiting on like the big, massive, used to be major label artists to come along and prove that it could be possible. And none of them were willing to do it. Bad Bunny's cool because Bad Bunny's been, you know, indie from ground up. But, you know, it, well, he didn't just become massive, but he's not, he hasn't been around as long as Taylor Swift. But Taylor Swift is this person that was once a product of the machine, once had, you know, um, the help of the machine. And she took that leap. And, but the article I was showing you right before this, but her numbers are bigger than they were when she was a part of the machine. 
Like she, she's only comp- she. It's a real me versus me situation with with Taylor Swift, and it's like what was that article? Uh, it was like line? it was uh Taylor Swift the is the first person to do a million albums in a week since Taylor Swift in 2017. That's a wild <laughs> headline, bro. That's such a crazy headline. Look. It's like a real, like I said, a real me versus me situation. So I'm I'm thinking that there has to be other major artists looking at her and going like, damn, she didn't skip a beat, even though you know what I'm saying she's any like she she did better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Actually, like she not nah, she didn't even fall off. And she hit so many of the core things we talk about. It's like, you know, she has a really strong narrative. She's come out that school to burn situation. She got her negative viral moment right now. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's been crazy on Twitter for the last couple of days. People talking about this video she dropped, saying she's like fat shaming and everything. So she got a negative moment around her. She she has a narrative around her. Yeah, no, nah, that shit, that shit's been, it's, it's been a wild couple of days on Twitter um, because of that. You know, she got the, she tell us so she definitely got the resources, but she mm-hmm. calling probably calling the DSPs like, yo, we got to tell us Oh yeah, when that shit coming out Friday, all right, bet you you in it, you you good, right? So she's proven you can keep the same level of relationships, yep. or somebody around you at least somebody can keep the same them. level of relationships. And so I'm hoping it makes other artists go like, oh okay, cool. Like, well not other artists, but like other big artists go like, oh yeah, so that shit is possible. Yeah, let's do it. I wonder if Drake's looking like. Mm. No, I don't think so. Mm, maybe I should. It's contract poppy. <laughs> 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 Drake gonna stay in the contract, bro. <laughs> uh, that's not his part of the game. I want to monetize <laughs> no, in a different space. I, you know, I can see that because Drake has so many aspirations beyond music. Yeah, he does. He doesn't have to look at music for his value as much. He doesn't have to exploit it as much. All right, he can share more of that pie. When you look at um, baby, right, like. Music is hey, that's where we getting it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they got some real estate, all that other stuff. But you know, it's not the same as like Jay Z, who I'm playing all these other brand deal games and partnerships, and you know, playing that level. We are gonna exploit and keep going. That's probably why they've been the ones who have lasted and lasted and lasted and been hot. Like A and R, like how many people? I mean, like Thug, they were on Thug and Rich Homie early on. Yeah, was mainly Thug, right? Um, who else? I mean, they were. I know they were connected with Blueface through, um, yeah, uh, Blueface the rapper. Yeah, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. It was somebody. It was there, there's a there's a, a a through line there. They're they are on it, bro. Yeah, baby, them that they, their system is tight. Oh wait, yes I did because yeah. he was signed to like um Cash Money West or something, something like or, that. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, something, yeah exactly, I didn't know that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Nah, man. I mean, and we know. The, the, the Drake and Lil Wayne, and, uh, Nikki, Nikki, all that stuff. Tiger, uh, they're like, <laughs> yeah, Tiger. <laughs> 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 well, get, hey, hey, bro, gotta keep that respect on Tiger name because that man be hitting in, in, in Cali. Yeah, man. You when know? he want to hit, bro, he want hey, one, man. If y'all don't <laughs> feel that, if there's someone in Cali who doesn't feel that way, all I can say is my personal experience. When I went to Cali, uh, one year when I was in Cali, I was like, yo. Tiger, like people really fucking with Tiger out here. This this music really playing, playing out here. I don't I don't hear him, you know, where I'm yeah. from. But <laughs> out here, like and but in California, California, Texas, right? They have new two states where you can just stay in that state and you can do crazy numbers. Yeah. Right? Because it's so so big. But you know, shout out to Tiger. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but back but back <laughs> back to the point. The yeah, cash money, they make their money in music for real, for real. Drake. Of course, he's made money in music, but I, I think the path that he wants to go, I can see, I can see him staying contract pack, Poppy. You're right. You're yeah, right. bro. I'm fine. Contract ego, Poppy, though. bro. What about ego? Just saying, man, I could be doing it that way. I could have a bigger piece of the pie. I could just, you know, I'm still Drake. I got the name. People are going to want to connect to me. Yeah. I could have high level execs that are highly skilled pushing for me. But I, I feel like it's different when you know that there are other people that are just as invested as you are in keeping that name as big as it is. And it's like, that's a hard machine to put together by yourself. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, you already have this building of people that are like, bro, you Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're going to they gonna make sure Drake shit work out. Yeah. So I can understand not wanting to step away from that situation. Yeah. Unless it's like, you feel like it's really, really lucrative. Or I, I really feel like Taylor did it because there's probably a message behind it. Like, look at how I was, you know, wronged by one of the biggest music executives <laughs> in the world. And look at my, look at me bounce back. Cause Taylor's whole story is, is always been like, you know, like look at me overcome kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not really Drake's narrative. Drake's narrative, well, not, it has, or at least it hasn't been for a long time. Drake's narrative hasn't been look at me overcome 
probably since the first album. Now it's look at me dominate, look at me stay on top. Yeah. And I feel like he probably feels like in order to keep that narrative going, he gotta stay in the major label system. That's interesting. Can Drake afford to take a real L? I think so. Like in his brand? Oh, in the brand? Yeah, in his brand. Because like you said, Taylor has had, I'm overcoming, right? Yeah. We've seen Drake overcome. We had the one moment where him and Meek, right? And hey, he won that. Right? Yeah. So there was never, and it, the battle didn't end up, it was, it was, it felt so one-sided in that moment. It does, it didn't look like, you know, Drake could take any L's, period. So ha- we haven't seen Drake take a legit L since he's been Drake. And mm. then come back from it. Yeah, I mean, what well, that was? Which album was it? It was either Views of Scorpion that didn't do that great. I can't remember which one it was. It didn't do that great. That that was a little chink in the armor. You know what I'm saying? It's a chink in the armor, but I don't. It sucks. So it's weird to say this in music, but I don't feel like a bad album is. It's an L. It's an L. Yeah. If like, your catalog is good enough. If your catalog is yeah. already there. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. For Drake, we're talking <laughs> about right. Okay. You're yeah. There enough of you <laughs> that, and you still got. It's like that album almost disappears. Cause your st- shit is still playing. We still hear all your great songs, yeah, and you're yeah. still coming out with other new songs that we're still hearing. We forget that there's just other songs that you came out with that we don't respect like that, or he, you know, mess with like that. I don't, I don't know. I, I think he could. He could. He could take a L. I think it'd be interesting to see Drake take a L. Cause like, I don't know. He. I mean, he doesn't really have the like. I guess he still has like the biggest rapper narrative going on. Yeah. Which, yeah, he does. But he's not the biggest. Well, we don't. Nobody thinks Drake is the biggest artist in the world. But he could compete with Tyler Switch is in a million in a week, bro. There's no way he could think that. <laughs> Bad Baby out here yeah. dropping multiple albums, breaking records. There's no way he thinks. Oh, Brad, yeah. Uh, not Bad, Bad Baby. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. A Bad Baby. I made, I made a mistake. <laughs> uh, I was on a Google search. I actually searched Bad Baby and I was looking for Bad Bunny. I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. Like Bad Bunny's numbers are stupid. Literally, like I remember the charts. It almost looked like it was double Drake streams a day. Yeah. And you're talking about Bad Bunny being indie. Now he's indie where he owns the label that he signed to. Mm-hmm. I don't know what his percentage is, but he owns something significant. And then they are with Republic, I believe. They're in business with Republic. Yeah, I think so. Like, so that's something that y'all could look. Look, hey, if there's more artists. That was the Nipsey approach, what he wanted to do. That's what Nip, uh, Russ has done, right? Like, I'm going to build my shit up, and then I'm going to do JV's, distro deals, things like that. It's just that the scale that Bad Bunny is doing it on, it's like... It's global. Shit. <laughs> I mean, like, bro, it, it doesn't even seem possible that he could be, like, in that type of situation. You know, He's a, numbers. a very unique case. I don't think we're going to see another case like him for another three to five, at least. At least. <laughs> 